Uh, today what I'm going to be showing you is uh, a book that uh, some friends and I are designing and it's about violins and uh, we took a whole different approach to to bookmaking this time instead of using photography we're actually going to be using illustration because uh, I guess it goes back to a certain time in history and we wanted to capture that that time and place in history when violins were more common and more popular I guess a lot more people played them and things like that so we started using illustrations and um, we were experimenting with a whole bunch of different things we even wanted to see if we can get different paper that it could be printed on but um, I guess there were some limitations because we we actually wanted to use handwriting instead of uh, type text and that was a little bit hard to read so we had to go with what would be the most practical even though generally most people don't really read anything in a book but if we're going to have a lot of information in the book then we had to have something that was easy to read so here we go well after several attempts of of making uh, book covers that we thought would look nice on the shelf we were wrong each time and what we did was we did something totally different when we were designing this book cover and I would recommend this this tactic if for anyone who's who's designing book covers or any other product that has to sit there on the shelf with uh, with a bunch of other products uh, we had our basic idea at first was we were just going to have all illustrations through this book or hand drawings or line drawings or whatever and that might look nice on the inside but nobody would pick up a book that looked like it was done in that style when it's sitting up against other other books the concept is is really different and that's one thing that it may have to its advantage but uh, we had to use photography and we had to use bold rich colors we had to use colors that were different than the colors on the other book covers on the shelf so that's a recommendation that I could make to anybody who's who's designing book covers and you want your book to jump out it's all in the design and another example of that would be if you ever go into the liquor store and you're picking up beer or or whatever usually uh, beer ads or, or, or rum or whatever they they have these big colorful bright posters that stand out across the room and if you look really carefully you'll notice that if, if it's in a small town they may do this but uh, what I noticed was these people that, that are designing those ads they go into a number of different liquor stores and they take pictures and they take note of what colors are in the room and they try to find colors that jump out from those colors so if you have a bare wall and it's a white wall well then you, that makes it easy you can have like a big blue poster and that'll stand out like a sore thumb that's the same concept that you'd want to have when you're designing a a book cover and there's it's very difficult because there's so much competition of all these different books on the shelf another thing that we did was we changed the uh, the dimensions of this book it's uh, quite a bit different so it stands out in shape also rather than just in color um, like I was mentioning earlier how we originally were going to stick to our plan of just having illustrations all the way through we had to break down put that work aside go back and and take a whole different approach it's time-consuming thankfully this wasn't done on a on a deadline uh, the client had plenty of time for us to be able to uh, go back and change things because this is just one of his own personal projects so just a group of friends basically we just designed this to see where it would go um, basically you're not going to be able to to reinvent the wheel when you're doing book design or, or page layout uh, my job is to take what's already out there take what I like do away with what I don't like and just possibly make something that's better uh, this book may have better information than other books. It may look nicer, or um, there's all different ways that that people are redesigning what's already designed. And so that's how we went with that. There's some advice I can give you. So what I'm showing you now is some uh, paintings that are inside the book. Uh, some of the paintings are next to uh, a fair bit of text, but I actually have a, a couple pictures in here that you can flip through of some of the scenes of a Romanian violin maker um, using a chisel and shaping the body. This is the bottom part of the violin. 
and um, so it just gives you an idea of what a violin maker is and what a violin maker does. Uh, the book brings out a lot more details that uh, a violin maker is a carpenter, he's an architect, he's a designer, he's an artist, and all of these different things are, are what goes into making a good violin maker. This guy's been carving wood ever since he was a kid, and um, I actually saw him also on YouTube when he was doing some work, and the wood chips are just flying off as he's, as he's doing this. So uh, this book actually right now is just a, a proof or a comprehensive, so it's not even bound. But these images are just printed off on a fairly good printer that would give a, a, a pretty good idea of uh, how the colors are going to turn out. They look totally different on the, on the screen when we were doing the page layout. I'll, uh, the book also goes into talking about how the, the kind of wood that they use and how the wood is preserved and how long it's kept on the shelf and things like that so there's a lot that goes into making a good violin choosing the right kind of wood and there's the same violin maker there looking at a tree or whatever uh, I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail about the uh, the text that we chose for the book we were gonna have someone with nice handwriting to be able to to do all of the text here which would go nicely with the uh, painted illustrations, but we had to choose text that's fairly legible and easy to read with all of the finicky details about violin making and stuff. Um, there's nice contrast there with all caps and lowercase too. There's the word mark of the title in the corner and that's on every page. Um, we did adjust the, the letting of each line. There should be a, a little bit better. We may actually go back and fix that but it has to be standard on each page and that's just another part of the layout that we're keeping cons consistent I'll show you a little bit more here <laughs> 